Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, phoenixshaving.com. I have to say, I'm impressed with the quality already. Uh, have not opened this yet. Let's get into the unboxing. Um, I'm gonna thank everyone at phoenixshaving.com for having this great opportunity to, you know, affiliate with their company to provide sales for them and it's just an awesome experience um yeah this is a new thing for me i don't really shave often so we have a brand new uh item to test out and we will actually do a live test in this video as well to show how good it is uh let's unbox it I haven't unboxed it yet but let's unbox it and get to the review and so with that we have the box. It is beautiful. Uh, we also have the cover. It's a slip cover. High quality. Very good. Uh, great quality here with the magnetic flap to seal it. Oh, man. That's amazing. All right. So right here we have the Green Ray shaving brush. High quality. Uh, I believe a 26 mil. If I'm not wrong. Yep. 26 so a 26 mil brush uh nice and soft very durable uh this price for how much was a unbelievable um it was 50 dollars well 49 in pretty much in all uh so pretty much nearly 50 bucks but it's on sale for 40 on their website we have sangre de drago now, people, if you looked at this and weren't paying attention, would say Sancre de Draco. No, you could see the little notch right there. Sangre de Draco. Uh, four fluid ounce with sandalwood and oud and artisan sage soap. Uh, so, uh, pretty much I got this because of the plague doctor. I like them and I hate them because they're scary as fuck. But, um... Yeah, Arson Shave Soap, Formula CK6. That's their best product. And you can see right there, it lasts about 12 months. It's really short time. A year really isn't that long, especially with most soap companies. Phoenix Arson Accoutrements, trademark. Getting you in a lather since 2012. They come out straight out of Arizona. Uh, there's the ingredients list right there. Pretty much everything here is all natural ingredients, which is amazing because there's no harsh solvents and propellants that are irritating your skin. This stuff is pretty much, let's see if we can get it open. This is, easy to see. nope, that's not gonna, give me one moment guys. All right, you can see it. It's uh, it's actually not dry. It's actually wet. So inside it's wet. It's pretty loose. Uh, the smell. <sighs> wow. I'd have to say the smell is a solid 9 out of 10. I enjoy it very much. It's uh, You can pick up the sandalwood. You can pick up the dragon's blood, which is sangre de drago. Uh, dragon's blood it comes from a tree in South America so it's really it bleeds pretty much blood red sap and it's represented as dragon's blood uh, you get a good amount here this should last you quite a few shades if you're sparing uh, so I'm not really worried with that so yeah okay Next, we have the safety razor. They go back to the old school safety razors, which is really good. Uh, fun fact I learned is that before 1971, there was no such thing as razor burn or um, any type of razor bumps or um, uh, pretty much uh, all those types of things. Ingrown hairs as well because it just didn't exist and products back then to treat it didn't exist because there was no need for it because these guaranteed a good shave without multi-blade razors 
constantly going over the single hair and digging it below your skin, causing ingrown hairs, which is very irritating to the skin. Trust me, I've had them. They're not fun. So they do a solid nickel stainless steel. Uh, you can see the logo right there on the hilt. And you have the cartridge. It's a three-piece uh, safety razor. Nice and simple and easy. Um, so, yeah, this is some beautiful stuff. Uh, it's very heavy, which means you can get some good control with it while you're using. So, I'm actually quite excited about that. That's some good stuff. Uh, so, we also have their Sangre de Drago aftershave and cologne. Uh, this stuff is, I hear, pretty great during the winter. You slap that on, and it's just amazing. It's made of natural ingredients. It gives you also a bay rum ingredients list you can go to. So go to the website if you want to make some bay rum aftershave. That would be awesome. All natural. And this stuff turn, uh, turns out that back in the day, aftershave and cologne was a antiseptic to treat um, any type of cut you would have afterwards on shaves. Um, people were dying from uh, barbershop shaves because they would get cut, it would get infected, get abscess, and they would die from that. Um, so yeah. And you do get, well, you got them with that. You do get three and a half months worth of blades. You get Volskod, Shark, and their uh, special um, platinum straight lit super sharps these are their own blades that they produce and they are just amazing amazing quality so yeah uh, pretty much we're gonna get right into the shave uh, I'm gonna take a shower you guys are gonna be with me during the shave my first ever wet shave and I can't wait to show you all the quality of it guys we are back we have put a warm cloth on our face to rehydrate our hairs to make this shaving process as smooth as possible we've let the soap puck moisturize and we've let our shave brush which i will show we've let it uh get some hydration in it to help it out so yeah i will then Take my soap up and let's go. Definitely not a very thing to keep clean at but it's lathering up maybe put a little too much water but this should be just fine you gotta lather it like you hate it it's on the wrist it's a lot of physical workout that's what we got so far Get a nice lather. I think that's good enough. We'll just put that to the side. All right. And nice and washed here. All right. Cool. Let's get this going. actually feels amazing oh the scent coming off of this absolutely amazing guys I'd recommend get Sangre de Drago it's absolutely phenomenal See, this is a man shave right here. 
when you do it on your own for the first time. I'm actually happy. We're not shaving the mustache. No hell and way. Because it took me 20 years to grow this. And uh, I'm keeping it. I'll shave the beard, but the mustache will stay. And there we, <laughs> this is just fucking hilarious. I was close. I was close to eating the soap. Don't eat the soap. That's a famous quote. All you on my channel, you'll understand that one. All right. So we'll just set this down. I can feel can feel the goodness in that one that's very comfy not having any problems with that all right here's a safety razor never used one before god hopefully I don't cut myself but I shouldn't because with the guides it should be all good all right, it's a little tricky at first in the mirror. You gotta set it 30. There we go. Okay, a little, little more. I noticed it's a bit thick. Oh, oh, it works. Yeah, it, it works. Yeah, we got hair. It's, that works really well. Yeah, that's working like a charm. The blade. Yeah, the, it probably needs a little more water. It is pretty thick. So, when in doubt, add a little more water. Okay, maybe not that much, but it's pretty thick. I'm just gonna add a little more water to it. Maybe reapply a bit. It works really well, guys. It, it's amazing. Sense there. from there. Alright. Yeah, that works a lot better. You 
go. Ooh, we got our first nick. Learning experiences. It don't hurt. But you know that's always good to learn. You're never perfect on your first first wet show. So gone wrong. <laughs> I could put gone wrong in the title. Let's go. You know what? I'm not afraid of that. If I had my alum block, I'd be much happier. We're just gonna. We're gonna go down on our first. Our first one will just. thing about my face, my facial hair is that it's soft and long, so. Oh, it's working, it's working very well. Oh yeah, this is uh, it's a lot funner than working with uh, <sighs> shitty cartridge razors. I feel it. You know, a little nick right there. Ain't nothing that serious though. Doing pretty good. Due to my face being a little bit softer, a little nick right there. Make sure you guys are getting the physique. As you can see, you probably saw that. My hair is very... My hair, ooh, yeah, you can feel it. It's not bad. A little stubby towards the bottom. But there's nothing to fear actually coming out quite great actually i feel like the cold blade works a lot better the chin is always a easy place to nick yourself It's not bad. This, uh, I feel like I gotta master the applicating, the applying of the soap, and also the lather itself, because I've noticed it's a bit thick. And add a little more water, so add a little more water to that. If anyone watches this, I'll take tips. Anything you can provide. I'm not getting any burning. So. Little patch right there. Nothing too serious.
I do believe I just ran over a couple of little surface skin bumps. Ain't nothing too serious. I was kind of expecting it. Good. Oh yeah, I got a good bite through there. So yeah, sorry guys, I would look at the camera, but you know, I gotta look at myself. I look like I just got done drinking the world's biggest fucking cup of hot chocolate with marshmallows and whipped cream. I'm good. Few irritation spots, but nothing too bad. We're gonna do a couple passes of this. I might do one more pass. One more pass with the. All right. I look good. That looks nice. A little stubby right here. So we do have some stubble. <laughs> I'm impressed. So in the comments below, I want you guys to recommend any type of tips, any tricks you do that helps you while you shave. Because I am open to anything. You guys are the true supporters hope you guys are enjoying this so far this is probably my longest damn video i've made i wish i had my alum block uh, that kind of gets on the nicks keeps them from getting infected and stuff that was uh really good a little stubble there nothing too serious you want a nice moist towel, helps out. Nice smooth little stubble down here. Nothing too bad, nicks went away pretty much. But I've always wanted to do this aftershave. Always wanted to slap it on. Little biggest trick, get a bit of that. Let it breathe. Yeah. Oh yeah. That stung a little, but that teaches me where to focus on. Around here, here. That's where I want to focus on next time. Plus practice makes perfect in the mirror. It's not bad. Do pretty good. There we go. Not bad. I look younger. <laughs> now, guys, I think this is definitely a great purchase. You should definitely get it. Uh, the no slip alum block, I would definitely get as well, just as a precaution in case you get cuts or nicks. Uh, definitely go out and buy this. It's worth it. It's worth the money. Uh, thanks for supporting the channel, guys. 
all right guys i'm gonna let you guys go uh thanks for staying with me on this uh first ever wet shave you guys are awesome give me comments down below like the video share the video use the code down in the description to help me the channel and support the company itself uh you guys are just awesome this aftershave smells amazing i ain't gonna lie it's pretty damn good a couple mix here if i have my album luck i'd be good you know what not a bad not a bad start i give myself a c a fair c so yeah thank you much guys uh for watching the video airsoft asian out peace